My Grammy thinks that I should be a star Plays all of my CDs in a car Telling all of friends my latest plan Yeah, so that's not your typical yeah, sound for something fan. that you might hear as an homage my to Grammy your grandma. But that is a song Grammy by AJ Smith, and I am here talking with you, sir. How are you? I'm so good, man. Just loving tour and can't wait to be in Chicago. Yeah, and that will be the Chicago scene uh, for the 17th of this month. You're going to be playing at the Chop Shop, and you are a, a Denver-based or you're from Denver, I should say, right? Yeah. The Denver area. And now you're touring and you've done this whole thing post pandemic or during pandemic as we're still uh, in, I guess, in yeah. certain parts. But uh, talk about that song though, uh, Grammy. It's one of your newer songs and people might know you from the song that you uh, wrote called Billy Joel, where even Billy yeah. Joel uh, heard about it and shared it all over and even invited you to open up for some of his shows. So you've got like these uh, awesome stories so far of some of the music that people might know you from. So chat about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Billy Joel kind of was pretty wild, you know, taking a life of its own and Billy, um, you know, reaching back out after hearing it. And like, you know, that's the thing that you're always afraid of is you're going to write a song based off of somebody's music and then they hear it and they hate it. Right. Right. <laughs> and I kind of <laughs> no pressure. I, yeah. Right. Especially from like one of your heroes, you know, musically. Um, but it was it was so cool that he loved it. and He shared it with all of his fans. And, and that just actually became my top st stream song of all time. Um, which is amazing. Um, and then, you know, I just dropped this song about another hero of mine, um, only not Billy Joel this time, my, as you said, my grandma, um, who has, you know, <laughs> been there for me for all of my music. I mean, she still comes at 81. She's still rocking teas to my shows when I come through town and everything like that and, uh, and dancing along in the audience. I mean, she, she's just the coolest. Yeah, I think I, I either I read or I remember the lyric about your grandma even wearing it in like church, like just showing <laughs> off her Sunday best with all of your gear on. That's yeah. the ultimate cheerleader for sure. That's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She tells she always says, you know, anytime that anybody comes over to their house, whether it's a friend or like they're coming to fix the AC or something like that. She's like, my one rule is they can't leave until I put your CD on and they've listened to your music. <laughs> and I'm like, that's that's fantastic. Just, yeah, yeah, she's she's my biggest fan, and um, you know, I I hope that I I've, I've got her around for you know another long, long, long time, um, and I wanted to make sure to to pay tribute to to my OG Grammy, um, especially at a time you know when like the awards and everybody is into all this manifestation stuff and everything, right? And you know, I think it's important and it's good to visualize the things that you want. Um, sure. But sometimes we get so caught up in you know chasing awards and. And that kind of stuff that we forget the the things that really matter. And I think during this pandemic, the the big thing that mattered a lot was was family and not being able to see them and being separated from them and everything like that. And uh, yeah, so I, I had to I had to give her a song to to put out into the universe. So you can so the pandemic was almost. I mean, I'm sure you probably would have written that song maybe before, without the pandemic. But it sounds like the pandemic either sped it up or refined what you really wanted to say because you had time to reflect on what it is for you to be with the family that you're with and what they mean to you yeah 100 percent. i mean i probably had the hook in my head before covid but then um i think just the greater sense of appreciation as you were kind of saying uh for that family and for the time that you that you, i missed with them it made me really appreciate the time that i did get to spend with her and i i played the song for her um i just finished it over christmas this past year um, and we were like dancing to it in the living room. Um, and I'm, I'm going to include a little clip of, of that at the very end of the music video when I when I release that as well. Fantastic. So right in time for the Chicago uh, visit here to the Chop Shop. How many times have you been to Chicago prior to this uh, uh, event here? I've actually only been to Chicago once and it was under completely different circumstances. Um, a friend of mine was working together like his dad had run a medical practice and they were working to get people vaccinated and um and called me and you know outside of music i've done just a bunch of odd jobs and uh, one of those <laughs> involves coming and helping out with the vaccination efforts um, at the united center and everything like that in order to to get things going and and then and all over the city too going and hitting a bunch of factories and and everything like that to get people the vaccination uh in chicago yeah Wow, that's pretty cool. I, I might have uh, met you without even knowing I met you because I did a story where we were delivering food to the United Center for frontline workers right at the right when they started doing that. So small world. It's all yeah. a full circle moment. Yeah, um, awesome. I, 
And uh, when you are in Chicago, you are coming in probably the coldest month of the year, just so you know. Uh, but oh. that means the shows are better because you're in a space in a part of the city where people are just really yearning for live music. So I, I imagine it's fun for you to get back out on the road and start touring again and getting that energy. Because that's like a thing that I think a lot of people forgot about, that energy exchange during a live show, especially when it's a show that... Um, you know, depending on the venue, the bigger, you know, the more energy, but not necessarily. You have a little bit of more of an intimate crowd. They might be more of a hardcore base of fans that really exchange that energy. Have you experienced stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes one of my lighter shows that I've played on this run, just because, you know, I'm playing some new cities that I've never played before. Um, right. And, uh, you know, Charlotte, for example, in North Carolina, I had never played in and I wasn't expecting many people. Uh, and, you know, I mean, there were, there was a decent amount, but it was still felt pretty small and intimate um, and um, certainly not like packed to the walls or anything like that. And, uh, but it was, it was beautiful. It was amazing. Just like that energy was, was so present and you could tell that the people that were there were really excited to be there. And it was probably one of the most fun shows that I've had, even though the crowd wasn't necessarily as big as, you know, festivals and other things that I've played through sure. pandemic, you know? Um, and so I think it's just for me, it's just an awesome reminder getting out in front of people and how much music connects us and how much we just we need it. And uh, absolutely, you know, hopefully I'll be back on those festival stages come summer and everything. But until then, I'm just looking forward to meeting new people, meeting new friends, making new fans and uh, and yeah, just putting on an awesome show for everybody. Right. And that's what they can expect here on the 17th at the Chop Shop. Uh, what time are you uh, slated to hit the stage? Do you know? Oh, that's a good question. I would say probably around seven or eight um, is, is the show start. I, I might be a little bit later than that, but I, we've got sure. some fantastic openers that are hitting that, that you definitely don't want to miss. Uh, absolutely. And for people who want to follow you outside of Chicago, what's the best way for them to go about doing that? Um, come and find me on socials or my website, ajsmithmusic.com, ajsmithmusic, username everywhere else. Um, I try to be consistent. Uh, find me on, on Spotify. Grammy actually just got added to two Spotify editorial playlists, which um, as an independent artist, that's that's really huge um, to have had that little victory for a song about my grandma. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, yeah. So it's go and find me on Spotify or Apple Music if you're not a Spotify listener or anywhere else, YouTube, every, everywhere else as well. Fantastic. Well, I wish you safe travels on your way here to Chicago and we'll see you on the 17th. Thank you very much for joining me. Hey, thank you so, so much. What an honor to be here, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely.